Listening practice level 5, story 12. Today we tell about the word wildcat. Humans have always depended on animals. From the beginning of human history, wild animals provided food, clothing, and sometimes medicine. We may not depend as much on wild animals now, but we hear about them every day. Americans use the names of animals in many ways. Many companies use animals to make us want to buy their goods. Automobile companies, for example, love to show fast horses when they are trying to sell their cars. They also name their cars for other fast, powerful animals. Automobile manufacturers and gasoline companies especially like to use big cats to sell their products. They like lions, tigers, and wild cats. When Americans say wild, they usually mean a lynx, an ocelot, or a bobcat. All these cats attack quickly and fiercely. So wild cats represent something fast and fierce. What better way is there to sell a car than to say, it is as fast as a wild, wild cat? Or what better way is there to sell gasoline than to say that using it is like putting a tiger in your tank? An early American use of the word wildcat was quite different. It was used to describe members of Congress who declared war on Britain in 1812. The dean of that year said the wildcat congressmen went home. It said they were unable to face the responsibility of having involved their country in an unnecessary war. Wildcat also has been used as a name for money. It was used this way, this way, in the 1800s. At that time, some states permitted banks to make their own money. One bank in the state of Michigan offered paper money with a picture of a wildcat on it. Some banks, however, did not have enough gold to support all the paper money they offered. So the money had little or no value. It was called a wildcat bill or a wildcat banknote. The banks who offered this money were called wildcat banks. A newspaper of the time said those were the days of wildcat money. It said a man might be rich in the morning and poor by night. Wildcat was used in another way in the 1800s. Oil well or gold mine that had almost no oil or gold in it. Dishonest developers would buy such property. Then they would sell it and leave town with the money. The buyers were left with worthless holes in the ground. Today, wildcat oil wells are in areas that are not known to have oil. Yet another kind of wildcat is the wildcat strike. That is a strike called without official approval by a union. During World War II, an American publication accused wildcat strikers of slowing government production.